Smoking Oracle Radio. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to another week in the life vlog. I am Alexia Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. Uh, so we started this lovely Sunday morning off with just a little tidying up. I got back from a four-day trip yesterday, flight attendant life that we no longer vlog about. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I had left kind of the apartment in a little bit of a disarray really not even the apartment just my bedroom i had clothes everywhere because i had a lot going on the week before last and just clothes were the last thing to be dealt with anyway um the tidying up is done we're about to head out let me give y'all a little outfit of the day i'm trying to do better so this is what we got t-shirt shorts sandals y'all already know zara 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 <laughs> I almost forgot y'all, I want to switch dog beds with my mother. So some of you all have been commenting, asking, DMing, <laughs> is Aspen in Denver still staying with me? And um, they're here from time to time, you know. I don't know if y'all know, but technically, Denver is my mother's dog and Aspen, is mine but they've been together their whole little lives especially denver she don't know life without aspen aspen knows about three years of life without denver it's getting dark hold on y'all okay. uh oh i need to put that back here to take that to trash so yeah um with that being said to separate them is not something that will be happening. Um, but Denver has made it very clear, and I knew this was gonna happen, that she does not wanna stay here. <laughs> she, um, the dogs are just very used to their freedom. You know, they had the run of the backyard to do whatever they wanted and all of that. So putting Denver in, you know a thousand square foot apartment and being like okay this is your new home all the time it was really like torture um yeah it was torture for her 
in myself because she was just bored, bored out of her mind, y'all. To the point where she would just lay around looking like so sad. So they were here with me probably for like a solid week while my parents were getting their fence built at their new house. Um, and I had took them over there like a day or so and she just showed up. Like she went to the backyard and just started rolling around in the grass and was like looking at me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, sis, I get it. You want yard, which was always the plan for them to majority probably of the time stay with um, mommy and stepdaddy. Um, and they'll just come with me sometimes you know just like what it what however it works out you know and especially with me still flying um you know they i can't just lock them up in the apartment so i guess you can just say that they bounce back and forth between the both of us but not like a lot a lot just a little bit of bouncing back and forth if i if i had aspen alone and didn't have to worry about you know separating them then Aspen would be here with me a lot more because Aspen isn't as backyard needy as Denver is although he still really loves a backyard and, and his freedom but Aspen experienced apartment living the first couple of years of his life when I got Aspen I was in college and I was living in an apartment by myself and when I moved back to Houston, I was in an apartment by myself. Well, I had a roommate, Shawnee, but whatever. So he, 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 I guess, you know, he's a little more familiar and it was, wasn't like a, a shock to his, his lifestyle. So anyways, um, what am I about to go do y'all? I'm about to take the trash to the trash can and, oh, I'm headed to go do a final walkthrough for a client. I'm going to stop by open house, go see my friend Kier, y'all met Kier before, and then I'm going to go to the parents' house and go um, kick it with them. It's Sunday. Sundays have been kind of my days to go out to where they live and just chill with them or whatever. So, yeah, that's what we doing. So, like always, I don't think I even finished my sentence about the dog bed. The dog bed that I bought is really big, and all my furniture in the apartment is already like oversized. The dog bed is oversized. <laughs> Everything is just big. <laughs> so my mother bought um, two dog beds, um, but the one she got for Denver is a little bit smaller than the one I have. I had took that black one back that I thought was really cute in, you know, a weekend life vlog a while ago. Um, I took that one back because neither one of them were like even fooling with it. So I was like, well, let me go get my money back. Um, so I just have the one bed there for them. But they don't both lay in it at the same time. They both use it, but they are not in there together. And it's just taking up so much square footage of my apartment. Like, there is no spot in the apartment where it's, like, out of the way. So I'm going to switch um, with the one my mother bought because it's just it's a little more compact. <laughs> and just leave that one over there. Nick. Um, so yeah, yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna stop at Smoothie King here. I am starting today. I went to the doctor the other day because I hadn't been to the doctor to just do like a um, a, a physical, you know, just to, to see where everything is at. I told her my neck, my back, all of that was hurting, you know, because like my neck, you know, cricks here, my lower back has been hurting for a while. I have like migraines almost every single morning which I've had them so long that I've just gotten you know you get used to those type of things so you don't even and my nail broke out y'all know I'm, I'm handsy though so ignore the nail um yeah so anyways we talked about the weight gain and it, how much of a struggle it's been for me to like lose it this time around so um 
I'm going to start fasting again. One, just so she can see how, you know, my migraines kind of change, hopefully with that too, to help with the weight loss and all kinds of things. She wants me to start tracking my um, blood pressure in the morning, which I never have like those type of issues where I'm going to do it because she's the doctor and she said I need to. Um, and then, yeah, all kind of stuff. It's just all kind of stuff. It's like, Lord, the older you get, and I'm not even old, but the older you get, things start breaking down. <laughs> things start breaking down, y'all. So, yeah. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's all. Let's uh, go get a little smoothie. Yeah, it's 11.37. I'm going to be doing 11 to 7 window, I think, or 11 to 8, whatever, um, of eating. And, and then, you know, fast at night. So, <sighs> Let's go. Happy Sunday. Made it to the parental's house. Hi, Spenny. Hi, Denny. They're out here sleeping. Hey, hi, Tony, baby. Huh? He asked them, like to act up when I've been gone too long. Remember, why are you at, Mama? What are you doing? I miss you, too. Okay, let, come here, Spenny. Hi, spoiled boy. Hi, mommy, spoiled boy. Hi. Yeah, okay, they're both spoiled. Oh, I'm hungry, y'all. Let's see, I haven't been to the parents' house in about a week or more. So they finally got a fence all the way up. It looks like they did some more pulling up of like trees and bush to give a little more backyard action. They're gonna hear the HOA makes them keep, I think, at least 20 yeah. feet of it with the natural, the natural trees and all of that look. Look at Denver. She's so happy. She's just so happy. I told my mom she needs to put like a fire pit over here. And then, I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out the rest of the backyard. Like it's my backyard to figure out, but I'm gonna figure it out. So this is the little patio set that, mom, it's kind of small. You don't think so? I just moved it. Hey, little dirty dog. You go to the groomers tomorrow? Yes. yes hallelujah, thank God. Did I tell you how much they told me to clean Denver's teeth? <laughs> yes, you did. 300 and something dollars. And they gotta put my dog to sleep. Put her to sleep? Yes. Oh, I need a second opinion. You need a second opinion, Dan Dan. Yes, you do, Mama Sheeta. Hey, this is all I've been waiting for. It's for Mommy to come back so I can come lay on her lap in her nice beige shorts and get them dirty. Right? Spoiled dog. Spoiled dog. Say hello to the vlog, mother. All right, I'm back home, y'all. My um, Hello Fresh box came while I was gone, so I'm gonna unpack that. The green box right there. Unpack that in a minute. I'm eating my frozen grapes before my feeding hours are done. Because remember, I'm fasting, 11 to 7. It's 6:47. I'm about to just relax, relax it out. It's been a easy breezy Sunday, so we'll see what the rest of the week holds for us. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. <laughs> y'all, the groomer just called me. Mother dropped off Aspen in Denver at a, um, we usually take them to PetSmart to get groomed, but of course we change locations because, you know, we everybody has moved. So the groomer just called me and she's like, did y'all give Aspen something this morning? And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure my mother did not give him anything. Um, but no, I was like, why, what's wrong? She was like, well, he's just, she's like, he just keeps falling over. <laughs> she's like, he just keeps like falling over and, and looking really like lethargic and just kind of out of it. And I was like, well, I was like, Aspen is, he's, he's a little extra sometimes. I was like, what, what are you doing? Like, you know, maybe I can help you out. <laughs> 
And she's like, well, I'm giving him a bath. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't like baths. He's going to he's gonna put up a fight, not want to move, probably just fall over like a dead dog. <laughs> she's like, I was just concerned because she's like, he just won't stand up. Like, I tried to get him to sit and he just falls over. <laughs> God, it's just so funny because I'm just imagining it in my mind just Aspen just tilting over because he's so dramatic. <laughs> and this is her first time dealing with him. Uh, and I was like, I promise you he's fine. I was like, he's going to shake and whimper and cry the entire time that he's there. Him and Denver both, they hate it, but whatever. But nobody drugged the dog. <laughs> he's just fine. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Ugh. I really don't have anything to do today, which is so amazing, but I have a jam-packed day for tomorrow, which is so annoying. <laughs> like, where is the balance? Where is the balance? Non-existent. Um, as far as nothing to do, as far as, like, leaving the house, nothing to do. There's always computer stuff to do. So today's probably just really going to be an admin day as far as work. Uh, one of my aunts is in town. I didn't even tell y'all. The family is doing a little family trip this week. We're going up to um, Louisville, Kentucky. My cousin is getting promoted in the Army. And so we're going up there for that. Um, not all of us, but a lot of us. So that should be fun. Um, of course, y'all get to come. Um, so, yeah, I need to probably pack my bag for that. And just make, you know, whatever. It's just life. But yes, go see my aunt or go find her in one of these houses, one of these family members' houses around Houston. I don't know where she is. Um, uh, but that's it. That's all. I got a little headache. And I just haven't felt like getting up out of bed yet. So I'll get up eventually. <laughs> all right, y'all. This is my second time leaving the house today. Earlier, I had to go do a favor for a friend. Now I have some um, lease properties to show. Oh crap, my mother was supposed to be coming over here with my aunt. I completely forgot. I'm gonna call her and tell her I'm gone. I'll probably just end up going to her house later. These eyebrows still are not done. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I forgot I wanted to take the Hello Fresh box to the trashola, to the trash can. So the only thing about these apartments that is missing is the valet trash. But you know what? I'm kind of glad that they don't have it. Because you know, like some luxury apartments you go to, they have the valet trash or you put the trash outside of your door. We had that at the um, crash pad in Dallas. Um, that you put the trash outside of your door and then somebody comes and gets it, you know, at night, which is nice. We don't have that here, but I always hate the way that it looks in the hallway, which technically you're only supposed to put it out at a certain time, so it's not just trash um, sitting in the hallway all day long, but still, uh, whatever. I'm just going on and on about things that really don't matter, so let me get the trash and go to this house. House is three of them. How about you with the auntie and the mommy? A little rice, shrimp, scallops. I'm just missing my steak. Vegetables. Thank you. Y'all missed all the fun action. All the fires and whatnot. Now it's time to eat. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Came to Mother's house to get my hair done. For. Oh. <laughs> Did y'all just hear that? Stepdaddy bought some bug zappers. There's one over here. They be zapping. Aspen went to the groomers. He's looking all nice and white and fluffy. Then, then, you went to the groomers? She got a bone. Aspen, they could, yeah, they really could have cut you a little bit lower, pumpkin. But you look good. You smell good. You smell good. Um, so, y'all know how for the past really all year I've been expressing how Aspen wakes me up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom and you know he's always having to pee so we went to the vet um, 
about two months ago and I found out that Aspen is um, in early stages of um, renal failure. So we've had to do a lot of changing up his diet and all kind of stuff. He's not on any medicines or anything like that. His kidneys are still fully functioning. But, um, my Thor baby. So, I feel like ever since then, he's became, he's become even more spoiled. Like, like he knows that I know that something is, you know, his health is declining. But, you're still my little baby. You're still my little baby. You're still my little baby. Always and forever. Right? Denver's fine. So we changed the vet recommended that we needed to put him on an, um, a senior diet. Aspen is 11. So I changed up his food and I've been like slowly transitioning it because it's hard to just change dog's diet. Like, well, it, it's anybody, right? Even me. <laughs> I can't even change my own diet. So I've started buying senior kibbles and mixing it in with their old kibbles that they used to eat and, you know, like starting to like just transition and yeah. So I just wanted to give y'all that little update. I need to get my hair done and I need to go to sleep because I'm tired. What I'm saying is that you two losers are abandoning me. Hmm. Good morning. Slipped in these ropes in these last night. I don't even know if they're fully dry. Like I tried to dry them with a blow dryer before I went to sleep last night. The little hand blow dryer. But I was so tired. So whatever it is is what it is. Because I'm running late this morning. I have a doctor's appointment. Not doctor's well. I'm going to the dentist this morning. I cracked my crown <laughs> last week while I was flying and so I had to make a appointment to get in for them to fix it because it feels weird it does not in any pain see yeah like the top of my hair is not freaking dry <sighs> anyways y'all I gotta go but this is where we're at with it this morning I'm trying to figure out this hair Go to the dentist. I have a closing today. I'm probably not going to be able to make it to that. I have an inspection today. Probably not going to make it to that. Because after the dentist, I have two other doctor's appointments to get to. And I just couldn't get them appointments rescheduled. So, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Rollers are out. Like, look. See, like this. How? 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 <laughs> I'm not even going to touch my hair. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to walk around like this today. If I have time when I come back home tonight, I'll try to reset a few of them, especially the ones up here at the top of my head. And um, try to just give a little bit of a tighter curl like these. Because um, I at least need this to last until Wednesday. And I know this hair, it won't. Like, look at this, this one. Just, it didn't, how? How did you not dry a bit? Mm. You know what? I think it's because when I did mine curls the first time, like months ago, I didn't use the end wraps. My mother is a licensed cosmetologist, y'all. And she's like, no, I have to use the end wraps. I'm like, thinking to myself, I'm like, mm, I think that might be another reason why they're not drying fully especially when i don't sit under the hair dryer i need to sit under the hair dryer this i know but nobody has time for that so uh, i don't know it is what it is at least it'll still give like a nice little um at least it'll still give like a nice little bounce you know i just won't be looking like i'll be looking <laughs> uh, whatever anyways Today, hopefully, will be a smooth day, regardless of everything that we have to do today. So, dentist appointment at 8.15. I think it's like 
7.30 now, so I really need to be getting out the house. Um, my closing was supposed to be at 9, but my client is running late, and she's coming from Dallas, so she says she won't get there until 10. Well, actually, the closing was supposed to be at noon first, and then we tried to move it up to like 9, 9.30 to squeeze her in earlier so we can hopefully fund today. And anyway, y'all want more details on that, go watch a real estate blog. Um, but now she's running late, so we'll see if I'll be able to make it. Um, like I said, I have an inspection that one of my clients is doing today. Um, and I was going to try to be there at the end of the inspection, which is like at 11. But then my doctor's appointment, I'm, um, y'all know I have the allergy issues. Um, so my, I went to a new ENT. Y'all know I've been doing the allergy shots for like a year. Um, and they helped, but not like as much as I would like want them to help. So very random, very random. <laughs> I was in Dillard shoe shopping and I was having severe sniffles one week and um, I was sniffling. <laughs> and this lady, she just randomly stopped. She's like, girl, you got polyps. And I was like, what? <laughs> She was like, the way that you're sniffling, she was like, it sounds like you have polyps on your nasal cavity. And she was like, that's exactly how I sound years ago. She was like, I went to this doctor, you know, blah, blah. He did surgery and removed the polyps. And I was like, polyps? Like, never even heard of polyps. So I made an appointment with that doctor just, just off her word, just because, you know, you just get tired of being congested all the time and not being able to breathe and breathing heavy. And I get sinus headaches all the time. Migraines, really. Just a lot. It's just a lot. So went to him. They put the scope up with nostril, the left nostril. And, well, really, they sprayed some decongestant. And whatever that was, it was amazing, amazing, because it instantly cleared me up. Like within five minutes, I was like, clear airways, almost clear. So then they put the scope up there, like on how Grey's Anatomy, how they do the scope, and you can see all your tissue and all the inside of your, your brain and stuff. <laughs> they did that, and it was very congested, but they could get it up there. Then they went to this right nostril, honey. Couldn't even get the scope up in there. <laughs> He was like, oh my gosh, wow. And I was like, you make that reaction for everybody. He was like, no. He was like, you are really, really congested to the point like he couldn't he couldn't get up in there. So he sprayed more decongestant, decongestant. I think that's how you say that. And um hold on y'all got one, two, three, there. Uh -oh. Okay. This is my new little nasal spray. Um, so he put the scope up the right side finally after you know the 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 swelling the deep, the swelling went down, and um, he could only get so far. And so he saw what looked like might be polyps, but he couldn't get you know the scope far enough back there to truly be able to see. So. He put me on some antibiotics just to get the inflammation to go down. That's what I, that was the word I was looking for earlier. Inflammation to go down. And then he prescribed me this um, nasal spray. So now I go back to the doctor today. Um, they're going to do a CT of the nasal, you know, the nasal cavity, I guess, the brain, the head. Um, and then, then I go back to him after I do the CT so we can talk about what the next steps are. So it's either going to just be, hopefully they're not polyps. I mean, if I'm, I won't be mad if they are, because at least then I know that we can fix this issue. Um, and if it's not polyps, he said it could have been, you know, just whatever else. I don't know. Um, then we'll, I don't know. We're going to figure it out today though. Okay. We're like, either do I need surgery to remove these polyps that's lining my nasal cavity or not? Um, all right. Let me stop talking. We gotta go. All right, I'm running late. You can't really see. I might have to show this later, but this is outfit of the day. Well, brown dress, brown sandals. 
Y'all already know, Zara, Zara. Let's go. Okay, that was quick. Um, he could have done it today, but he would have been like squeezing me in, so I would have had to been there for hours. And we don't have hours worth of time today. So I scheduled an appointment for uh, in like two weeks. It's, he said I should be fine. He says the whole crown is cracked. I thought it was just chipped in the back, but he says he can see that the whole crown, like it's like fractured, like it might just split down the middle. So he said, if that happens, it'll just feel annoying, but the tooth itself is fine. I had a root canal a little less than a year ago and that's the crown that cracked. So um, all is well, it'll just feel a little annoying because where it chipped off at, of course it feels like rough on my tongue or whatever, but we're all good. Y'all, as of right now, life is a disaster. I can't find one of my credit cards, which I know the last place I saw was on my couch. I just flipped the couch upside down, no credit card. I've looked through all my dirty clothes to make sure it wasn't in the pockets and all that, no credit card. I looked in my car in between the seats, no credit card. I looked in my purses, no credit card. And I don't usually lose things like that, so I'm perturbed. Um, and then now, no Spanx, both. <laughs> I don't know what I do with my Spanx and they're always so hard to find because they're black and I have so much black stuff and I can't find a dang on Spanx and I need the Spanx. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm positive that I probably threw the Spanx in a wrong drawer, but I can't find them. I haven't checked this bottom drawer over here and that's like, like both of them. Uh, it's my suitcase. They're not in there. I just checked that one. They're not. Oh. Ha! See what I mean by. Ha! <laughs> They're both here. When I have literally went through this underwear drawer 10 times. But. Y'all, let me, let me go. Let me get up out of here. Y'all were my good luck charm. Literally just found the car. Just went back through my purse, pulling out my passport to put it back in my other purse where it belongs. And look what fell out the passport. Glory to God, we found everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we did an outfit change. Just a little orange tank top, black slacks, a little pump, and we're off. Do I have to tell y'all? Zara, 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 Zara. Okay, I'm addicted, we already know. Okay y'all, just finished the um, inspection from our client. Her and I are actually about to go grab some lunch. It's my feeding hours now. I did get me uh, some tea when I went back home because I was feeling hungry. But this has held me over. We're gonna go grab some barbecue. And um, then, 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 then I'm gonna go to the doctor. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this, y'all. Lunch with Simone. Say hi, Simone. Hello. <laughs> Yummy. The congestion is this that y'all spray. The, it's, um, <laughs> Afrin. Afrin? Mm -hmm. It's like miracles. Lidocaine? Yes. Oh, I don't think she did two sprays last time. Afrin and lidocaine. Yeah. Okay. Afrin is the one that opens up your nasal cavity. Afrin is what numbs it up for you. Okay. Thank 
this side is open. better than last time where how much it responds to compared to the floor uh -huh. but this is the problem that is the problem and I mean on the other side it's a crooked septum on top of it yes so it's like that's the two things so you have a crooked septum mm -hmm. so this thing goes to the other side uh, which they'll show you in a second right there kind of pushed over right there mm -hmm. and then your turbinates are big mm -hmm. and think of turbinates like a wing Okay. Airplane okay. Wings. Uh huh. Kind of helps glide the air all the way mm -hmm. so that you could kind of fly, right? In this case, it helps glide the air into your lungs. Okay. So that's why it's important. So it actually acts like a filter and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but it also, because it filters it, it gets swollen. Yours gets swollen really quickly. Yeah. So it's huge. Real big. As you all saw, Dr. Yao went all up in my nose. And it boils down to either he can subscribe me some medication, which he's already subscribed, like you know the the thing that I the in the the nasal spray that I was spraying this morning, and I was telling him I can't really tell if it's making a difference. So it might be, and it could just be very slight, or it might not be doing anything. So to me, that means it's not doing enough. Like whatever they spray in my nose when I go there. I can instantly, five minutes later, instantly feel the difference. Like I can look in my nostrils and see whatever those terminologies that he was using for the stuff in the nose, like shrink. I can literally see that happen. I've never experienced that with anything else that I've ever taken. No other medication, no nothing. So the next thing was, so he showed me my CT the good thing there's no polyps there's no type of sinus disease so that is good he said so you know don't ever let he said don't ever let somebody tell you you know anytime soon that you need sinus surgery because you don't so I was like okay that's good so the only thing that's really happening is is that the stuff that he was talking about I don't even know terminology but the the things in the nose are just very very swollen and then my um, my little thing, my septum is deviated or whatever. So surgery is the next option on the table. So I was just like, okay, if I do that, will will those things in the nose that's blocking my pathway of being able to breathe, um, will that grow back? Because basically he's gonna go in. When he says he does his different, some he said some doctors just really remove them. He said he doesn't do that because you need them. But what <laughs> I should have recorded him explaining it. But basically, he said he'll just go in and like lipo it. Basically, is what he was saying. Like take a section of it out, um, which should really really help. And I was like, okay, but in another year to ten years, am I going to have to revisit this? issue again and he was like he basically said no he didn't just flat out say no you know it'll never grow back you'll be fine for the rest of your life but majority of his answer was you'll be fine for a very long time he said they may grow back they may enlarge again uh, you know over a period of time but it won't be as severe as how it is now so I just need to decide if I want to do that surgery and then he said he'll also fix my deviated symptoms so it's not a nose job y'all my nose will look exactly the way it is now um, they will have to put me to sleep have to give me the drugs um, but it's an outpatient surgery so and they, they don't cut nowhere on the face everything is just they go in through the nose they do everything no scars 
he said no swelling no no none of that the only issues i will have is he said for like about a week after the surgery <clears throat> i would feel very congested like worse than what i am right now because everything is going to be swollen at that point um until you know the inflammation and everything subsides and then we get the results that hopefully the phone keeps overheating and then he gave me a third option which is not an option he's like or you could just move out of texas out of houston for sure where the air is not the air here um and i was like that's not an option dr Yao. that's not an option and i mean that's very true i mean when i was up north like when i was in new york for those um that time that i was based there um I never had like real allergy issues in there. So I, I know that, you know, environment makes a, makes a massive difference. So we're gonna pray on it. We're gonna call the insurance and see how much it would cost. Because of course, you know, we need to consider cost. You know, this, this stuff not cheap. Um, and yeah, we'll just go from there. Anyways, let me get my GPS back up. Talk to you guys later. Y'all, I'm sleepy. It's 7:20. I just went and got my nail fixed. Just thanks to my nail technician, Andrea. She was like, "Come at 6:30. I can fix it for you." Because I have an appointment Saturday, but she didn't have any full available appointments today, or and she doesn't work on Monday, so. I was like, okay, well, let's just fix this one nail and then Saturday I'll come back and get my my whole field done or whatever. I had one more thing to do today. I was supposed to go take the sign out of the yard for the lease house and I forgot. So my flight tomorrow is at noon. So maybe I'll wake up earlier in the day and maybe try to go get that done. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna go home now. I know my feeding hours are supposed to end at seven, but I I can't I can't tell like if I'm hungry. I think I might be okay if I just drink some water. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, people. Today is Wednesday, and um, I am up. 6 30 ish in the morning and i'm on the computer i need to get some um real estate documents uploaded really quick finalize some transactions get some people paid um and then and then i need to pack my flight leaves at 12 i hope i think <laughs> and then I'm gonna, oh i was gonna go take the sign out the yard dang i don't know i was gonna go take the sign out the yard go get my eyebrows done and then go to the airport but i don't want to leave the sign in my car parked at the airport so i'm gonna have to rethink that I don't know. I don't know. But good morning, y'all. Good morning. Ooh. Oh, goodness, y'all. Just FYI, my tenant planners are half off. $25. I need to fulfill this order, stick it in the mailbox before it's time to biz out. So I got things to do this morning. Y'all, side note, I am addicted to these Ray Dunn coffee mugs that just... I, every time I see one that has another cute little saying, I buy them. I think I have like 12 of them now. Maybe I should get to 30 so I can have one or 31. One for every day of the month. It's kind of ridiculous. So It's kind of ridiculous. All right, y'all. Did what I needed to do for real estate. Now, I'm going to get these eyebrows taken care of. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're making decent timing. I should be back at my apartment to throw the sign in the lockbox in the garage, and then I can head to the airport. Uh, I should probably get to the airport right about 11. And 
and flight departs at 12. Let's just let's just get there and go, y'all. <laughs> Vlog, I've made it to Louisville. There's a Carenza. Norman, say hello. Hey. Hey. Waiting for the rest of the family to arrive and then we have dinner reservations. And trying to figure out something fun to do maybe for Friday. Stay <laughs> Go ahead and talk. Oh, this is Flair. You not gonna talk? Sorry, it's your boy Norm, man. Back with another video. That's how my intro gonna be. <laughs> but you know, we, we back here in the back seat. We meet Lexi, big sis in the cut. <laughs> I'm so squished. I'm the oldest in the middle seat in the back. Yeah, and in the but front. But look how uncomfortable got... I am trying to make She's you desirable. desirable. <laughs> Is that better? No. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, we right, we should, I should do this. Yeah, there you go. That island is magical. So right, much that's nature. That's big island, man. I don't think it is. Back with another video, man. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. We have made it to dinner. This is the honoree, Ella. Auntie's here. Ella's two friends. Auntie, Andre, Mommy, Norman, Corenza, Max, the waiter, Auntie Pat. Where are you? He, Auntie Cox. Me. My brother thinks he's a vlogger. Look at him. Every time there's any promotions or anything you guys achieve, the only thing that I always sit here and wonder and wish is that mommy was here because let me tell you something she would be absolutely proud of all you guys and she would be ecstatic about it she can live in with you okay so we are we are proud of you crim, crim sibling <laughs> oh you need that picture of the two other thirds crim sibling six or two or three if you want to go Andre, you talking? Yeah. Ella, to my, to the brother that, the only brother that I've always had, you know, uh, coming up, we were always close, and, Can I turn you know, this music off? Now our paths have diverged, but, you know, I only have nothing but respect for you, you know? And everything you've always done, you've been, like, the top, the best. And that's what I know and, and come to expect from you. You know, so the fact that you're still here being you in the same way as always, that's all I can ever ask of you, you know? And, you know, just don't forget that as far as you go, whatever heights you end up reaching, that you always have me and a brother, you know? We're cousins, whatever. We shared a room, we bathed together. <laughs> we fought over fell milk. Down, fell down a mountain together. <laughs> and don't say it. Killed, almost killed him over some milk. Back in, back in the country. Yes. Yes, in Maryland. Am I gonna die down here? Anyways, man. You know, it's, it's, it's so easy to, to, forget what things are at your core, you know? And as, as far as you go, as many promotions, as many heights as you see, you know, just know that we're still broke. Amen. Always. I mean, cheers. To Smella. Yes, to Smella. Clank, 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 clank. Clank, 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 clank. Okay. To my stuff. Congratulations, son. As always, I know you strive for the best in everything you do. Um, it might not be easy, but you never give up because you like to be number one. And that have always motivated you to go above and beyond. I really love the leader that you have become. Now, Looking out, not leading by example, and that is very important. Don't expect somebody to do something that you yourself is not willing to do. Mommy, you know, you're the team leader. 
get down and dirty with them, show them that you can do because that is what people want. It's a bit of a part from you just giving them all that they also want to know you have that compassion that they can come to you with anything and you will direct them the right way. So, all the best. Thank you, my family, for helping me to raise you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I remember when I moved here from Jamaica in 2000, 2000, and I don't know what happened to Ella, and he was hurt, and he ran to Andrea, he ran to Andrea, and that hurt, but then I had to console myself with the fact that when I was not there, if she was ill treating him, he would, he would not have gone to her. So I consoled myself with that. Yeah, suck it up. To Anna. To Smella. Dinner was great. Yeah, dinner was fire. Corenza. Corenza. Corenza is right here, but y'all can y'all can see her teeth. Oh there she oh there she oh there she is. <laughs> Whoa! Ella? How was everything? It was a wonderful dinner with great company and I like to like that. Great family. Okay. Andre? I'll let you know I'm gonna try to get in. It was fine. <laughs> I know I know I look faded right now and it's it's totally okay because all of it was worth it. All Andre, how it. Many, Here come how Nancy. What what is she doing? Come come Normie. She's taking a picture of us inside the car. She's so weird. Yeah. Auntie extra. AF, all of them. Has your body ever screamed so loud that you need water that you will go to all kind of heights to get it? <laughs> Y'all woke up 7 a.m. here, 6 a.m. at home. But I just woke up like at 5, like, oh my God, I need some water. This hotel didn't have no water. No water. This hotel had no bottled water. They were out. And I'm like, that's essential. <laughs> I had to walk a block and a half to CVS to go get some bottled water. <sighs> anyway, I'm about to go back to bed. <laughs> Good day. We've made it to the yacht. Thank you. It's raining. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll give us a little break so we can enjoy the yacht. Look at the bridge, y'all. It's a pretty bridge. It's a nice design. I like that. Here is the yacht. So glad it's fully covered.
persona and the characteristics of a commander can very well take the unit and take that attitude. Um, and that can be good and bad. Uh, I tell you, Bella, it's good. Uh, and you, you see that. He carries that attitude everywhere he does. He's professional, he's competent, he's an expert in what he does, but he does it well and he's a team player in everything he does. And I tell you, I'm that very proud of him. Very proud of everything he's done. And again, everything that he's going to do. Because, as Al spoke, it can get a little tough at times as a major. Right? It can get a little tough. But I, I think I think you're pretty good. I, don't, I think you keep that smile on there. I think you'll stay happy. Um, but I tell you, I am proud of you and uh, everything you've done. It's been great to see you. you know, even though it's been a short time, uh, it's been great to see everything you've done. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your work. You've done a phenomenal job. And I, I am very glad to look forward to seeing everything you've done. Um, but I know in all three of us, I know it's been for Japan as well uh, to be able to be in charge uh, and lead ourselves in the beginning. I think it's very nice to see you. So with that, let's call the story.
beautiful children all together, and you guys have, have allowed us to live our dreams. You guys sacrificed your own dreams to make sure that we lived our life. Um, I got to do a lot of things in life, and it's because you guys have put a lot of weight on your back and made sure that we could do a lot of things. I, I played every instrument. I played every sport. I went to every practice. I did pretty much everything in high school to find out what I really loved, and I found the Army out of all of that, and it's been, and it's been phenomenal. Okay, Mom, you know I saved the best for last. My rock, and everybody, if you know me, you know my mom, because there's only one picture I have in my house, one, nobody else, um, and it's my mom. Um, I lived in Jamaica with my mom for a very a very long time before moving to America, before she followed me, and I can tell you right now, my mom has given up a lot of dreams for me to stand right here today. Rode the bus with me to, to basketball games, rode the bus with me to practice if she had to, um, she made sure that I, I stand before you the man I am today. It was a great proponent. It was a proponent for all my dreams. Um, encouraged me in everything I did. Um, lifted me up when I was down. Mom, if there was anything I said today that you hear today, I, I appreciate everything you've done. And I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for me in my life. So thank you. Besides that, everyone, I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, to Josh and Taylor's family as well. We're one big happy family. Um, those guys know that whenever we get together, you guys are pretty much family to me as well. That's how, that's how my family taught me how to be. So thanks, thank you for everyone coming out. Henry, back to you. It was a good speech, y'all. Oh. Yeah, got got her tear out of me. Oh Lord. One. You're real. You take the heels off after you've gotten all the photos and you slide the sandals on because who got time for feet to be swollen and hurt? Back out of another year with another vlog, man. It's your boy Noah. Got the aunties in the back, man. <laughs> aunties in the back, man. Vlogged up, man. We in the vlog, man. Vlog, man. Special episode. Noah, uh, Noah, touching the vlog for the yeah. one time. You already know how we get down. You know how we do, bro. Look at the family. Look at how gorgeous we are. Aren't we though? Black is muff. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Leap it out. Leap it out. <laughs> Is that Lexi's girl? Yeah. Special yeah. episode. Come on now. Y'all the aunties, sister, hey. lovely mom in the hey. cut. Hey. 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 Okay, give me going. Just hop off the yacht. You see it. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, the yacht. <laughs> I need a manga. When the walk, you know the. Oh, y'all know y'all. You see how I'm coming with it, though. Come on now, man. Come on. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. Tacos. Good morning. Happy Friday. Yesterday was such a fun day. It's so hard to vlog. Did I go the wrong way? It's so hard to like really vlog when you're just 
really in the moment and having a good time. Um, I think I did go the wrong way. Anyways, it's Friday morning. It's about 8 a.m. ish. Me and my cousin are about to go get some. I'm gonna get some tea, you know, coffee or whatever, whatever she wants to get, and then see what the family wants to do today. My brother's leaving today. Corinth and Norman are also leaving later tonight. I was supposed to be leaving today also, but my god sister is actually coming here to this evening. She said she'll be here like around five, so I'm just gonna stay and leave tomorrow morning so I can get an opportunity to see her. I haven't seen her since um, I went to the Bahamas, but three years ago for my birthday. So, anyways, y'all, I just wanted to check in. Good morning. We're here at the place that I don't know the name of. <laughs> it's not Moo Cow. Oh, Le Moo. Le Moo. Le Mew. We're going to have a little family brunch of mine. It's Mother. Yeah. Mother ignoring the vlog. Where y'all finding it? Yeah, yeah, Indiana. Yeah, Indiana got some wild. Signing out the vlog, man. We up out of here. Out of Louisville. It's good. Y'all real. See y'all boys later. Oh, my God. I found Gotti. I got some to Takaya. Her husband, Dennis. Her friends, Molly, and Tisa. Say hi to the vlog. Friday y'all I am back home finally just picked up one and two from the parentals house y'all how about United delay my flight for like five hours so the flight that I had myself booked on leaving Louisville this morning was at 7 a.m. right I was supposed to get home at like 9 o'clock with an hour difference right five minutes before boarding all right, Houston flight's delayed until 11.30. It's like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, God. And that was the only direct flight. I really, I really hate having to connect unless I'm going international. Like, I'm always just trying to find a direct flight. Sometimes it's impossible, but that's always my goal. So I ended up, I was like, man. So I looked at American, of course, because y'all know American. Um, I would have had to go Louisville to Dallas, Dallas to Houston, and but the flights from Dallas to Houston were booked, 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 booked. I was like, ooh, that's gonna be cutting it close. And so then um, Southwest, y'all, I, I remembered. I saw a Southwest plane out the window, and I was like, oh yes, Southwest. It's so easy to forget Southwest. I don't know, I just be forgetting. Um, but anyways, they fly into, you know, the bigger airport now. I've discussed this before. So I was able to hop on Southwest. I literally listed myself two minutes before the plane was supposed to depart. And usually most other airlines, they're not that nice. You know, they'd be like, well, you need to be at the gate 30 minutes prior. So I listed myself. I was like, ooh. So it was going from Louisville. Then we, I had to switch planes at Midway. Ugh. Midway y'all. I haven't been to Midway Airport in a very long time. I think longer than I've been flying which is four years. Ghetto. <laughs> it, ooh. Ooh. Okay. I digress. So I had to change planes to Midway and then Midway to Houston. And the Midway to Houston flight was packed. I had a middle seat packed. Um, but I was just grateful. I was grateful. For, so I was still able to get home about, I think I landed like right about 11-ish. It's 12.54 now. I went and picked up the dogs, had to talk to my stepdaddy about some real estate stuff. Um, and now I'm heading home. And then I have another appointment at 3 o'clock. I'm so glad I didn't. Denver! 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 Sit down and stop that whining. I'm not letting the window down. Um, <laughs> dog mom life, y'all. Dog mom life. 
anyways so it's friday that's really it it's probably just you know we're winding down to the end of the week in the life vlog um tomorrow's fourth of july who knows what may happen i may or may not participate in some fest oh this is a green light i'm tripping may or may not participate in some festivities so yeah anyways let me focus back on the road <laughs>